I'll switch gears now to the after picture. This is System Manager running against the same cluster. To find the volumes, I'll drill into the vServers and find the one that I'm dealing with, this fall demo. Then scroll down here and pick the volumes. This is showing me, again, those four data volumes for the vServer. Shows me information about them, how much space is used, how much space is available. I can sort and filter on the columns and find all the data I want about my volumes. Okay, very good. To turn on thin provisioning, I'll find this one that's not much space used. Click on that and change the settings. Right here on the front page, it talks about thin provisioning, how checking the box will allocate space for the volume and clearing the box will be thin provisioning. So that's what I want. I'll apply that. And then right away, the screen updates and shows that, all right, space guarantee is no longer on this volume. Very good. Next, we'll turn on deduplication. Again, System Manager has a column over here that's showing which volumes have deduplication turned on and which do not. Makes it easy to, to find the ones I want to pick. Let's get one of these that's half full and turn on dedupe. There's a storage efficiency tab here. I'll check storage efficiency. Automated sounds good to me. If I wanted compression, I could do that here too. And there we go deduplication turned on. Finally, we'll try moving one of these volumes to a different place in the cluster. Let's, let's, like we did before, start with this one that's nearly full and move it elsewhere. This little dialog box is doing some thinking for me. It went out to the cluster, found the aggregates where it might could go, it filtered out the one where it always already lives because that's not a valid destination. It gives me some information about each of them to help me figure out which aggregate might be the right one. I can click on these aggregates and it will do some math down at the bottom about how much space was available before, how much is available after, so that I can be sure that the place I move it to is going to have plenty of room to, to accommodate it. So let's use this one. Plenty of space. Okay. Sounds good. This isn't going to disrupt, disrupt my applications. And there we go. All done. Data on tap cluster mode has a lot of powerful and compelling features. And we're very excited about the role the system manager is playing in simplifying those features for our customers.